Wait. It, where? Oh my God. I can't believe it. It's the, it's the Feed Feed Instagram stories. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. I actually, hold on, let me get you up right. I just wanted to say that I'm a huge fan of the Feed Feed and they asked me to do an Instagram story. So we actually have a lot to do, so we should probably get going. On the menu tonight is wild spring rolls. So we're gonna go forage for some wild spinach and other goodies. And we're gonna stop by the Union Square Farmer's Market to pick up some veggies. And now we have arrived at the Union Square Farmer's Market. And I only shop in style with my feed feed bag. Bingo. Here are some of my favorite carrots of all time. Dragon carrots, they're red on the outside and orange in the middle. Oh my God. It's the largest cauliflower in the world. <laughs> So I just arrived to Prospect Park and I'm going to do a little foraging and I've already spotted my first item which is a wildflower called Lady's Thumb. Lady's Thumb flowers grow in clusters and they're pink, almost lavender. Um, the whole flower is edible and I love using them. Now isn't that this the cutest bouquet of flowers you've ever seen? Come on. So here we have a crab apple tree. So these are the unripe crab apples. Aren't they cute? And in the springtime, um, the flowers are gorgeous and they're edible. And this is one very large sassafras tree. And these are the leaves that you use. You dry them and grind them up to make filet powder. And here's an identification. What you're looking for is you're looking for the glove leaf, the three prong, and then the standard shape of leaf. Uh, you can also use the bark and the roots of this tree. I love sassafras leaves. And people also call me sassafras. So, how about that? Now, I'm not going to harvest any of these dandelion greens because they're right by the road, but I'm telling you, this plant just loves cracks. It just like, can grow out of cracks and cement. And what we came for, lamb's quarter, or wild spinach. It's also known as the Prince of Wild Greens. It's a delicious edible. Now, I've seen them sell this at the Union Square Farmer's Market for $8 a bunch. I'm not doing that. No, ma'am. And look at the cutest patch of sorrel in the world. So this is sorrel. You can see it has three heart-shaped leaves. So the actual leaves of the sorrel are really lemony and citrusy. And one other cute identification are the flower buds. And they look like baby okras. Mm. And these little flower buds, I guess sorrel okra, they're really delicious. Mmm, I now, this is a super invasive plant. This is burdock, um, most commonly known for people eating the root, but look at the flowers. And look what we just stumbled across. These are black walnuts. So I'm just gonna give you a heads up. These are one of the hardest nuts to crack. I mean, I'm for real, like you need a, you need like a special tool to open up these guys, but they're really delicious. They're, they're like walnuts, but they have kind of a minty taste. They're delicious. That damn burdock stuck on me like what on rice. And you know what? There's a reason why Velcro was invented after this stuff. Look at it. And here is some Bishop's Elder. So if you harvest a stalk, it is a triangular shape and it tastes like celery. And through the patch of Bishop's Elder, I've spotted some black walnuts. So these are the black walnuts on the tree and they'll drop when they're ready, but they look kind of like little golf balls. And this is where the black walnut is. It's inside of there. See? We was escaping the bleak, but soon when I'm feeling it, pressure pushed them toward the instinct of brilliance. Capture this great. 
Now I'm back in Manhattan and I'm headed home to Williamsburg so we can make these spring rolls. So I'm back home, I have all my ingredients ready to go and I'm about to prepare the dipping sauce and the spring rolls. So let's do an overview of the ingredients, shall we? So for the spring rolls, to prep my vegetables, I like to use a mandolin to get them the perfect matchstick size. And I use protective gloves because I'm a dingling. Okay, so all of the vegetables are prepped and we are ready to roll. So I'm going to show you a few of the ingredients that we're going to be loading these bad boys up with. So we have some organic local carrots, we have purple bell pepper, we have red vein sorrel, and we have some chive. Oh yeah, and cucumber. We also have some of this freshly harvested wild spinach and this gorgeous local purple basil. Smells absolutely outrageous. So I've laid down a nice collection of these colorful leaves. They're gonna be on the exterior of the roll and then I'm gonna fill it up with the cucumber and carrots now. So now I'm rolling it up tightly and I'm wrapping the edges and then I pick it up a little bit and pull it back to make sure it's nice and tight. So me and my friend Kara who's helping me film this, we were hungry so we just ate the one that I rolled but I wanted to show you this one and I'm going to cut it in half. So what I like to do is I like to cut the spring roll on a bias and that way you can see everything inside. See. So these guys are done. So now I am going to make a dipping sauce and before I serve them, I put in a few more ingredients for a presentation. Mm. So this is a super simple miso tahini dipping sauce and if you want the full recipe, head on over to my Instagram gallery and my most recent post, I have the recipe in the first comment. So before I show you the final product, I just wanted to give you a few tips with these rolls. You can use whatever vegetables you want, whatever you see fit, whatever you have in your fridge or whatever you find at the market really. And the same goes for the sauce. You can do this miso tahini sauce, you can do a peanut sauce, you could do a vinaigrette. Um, anything goes, really, so don't stress. So here we have the final spring rolls, and as you see, I've studded in some sunflower petals and scarlet runner bean flowers. So if you've never had scarlet runner beans, they're a beautiful big bean, and they grow this amazing flower that's hot pink, um, and they're super sweet and delicious. Now it's time to eat. Mm. <laughs> okay guys that's it that is my recipe for the feed feed instagram story takeover thank you feed feed for having me and here's some more information i just wanted to point out if you head on over to mississippivegan.com i have a blog that has different recipes you can also follow me on snapchat at mspvegan <laughs>